Hello, and welcome to Vampire the Masquerade. This is our third episode, which is actually our first episode, because there were some recording issues that happened, but that's okay. We're here now. <laughs> actually, it would be episode number two. Session oh, zero didn't count. Oh, that's right. Yet. Session zero didn't get recorded. That's right. Didn't yeah, get recorded. I was told zero. not to record that one. <laughs> Yeah, that's right. We don't have that anything. <laughs> yeah, and then it ended up lasting a lot longer than I thought. Yeah, yeah. it would have made a great <laughs> episode, too. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So let's go ahead and re-reintroduce our characters, even though I'm sure we're going to do it at the beginning of every episode. Mm -hmm. We'll start with Luke. Hello. Who plays Don Pond. Then we have Zavarel. Hola. I play uh, Jacob Moon, the Mal the Malkavian. Yeah, he's taking he's taking initiative. I'll take the initiative. I I too am a uh, DM, so. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> and then we have Ufficus. Hello, I play a Gremlin, the Nosferatu. And a little recap is Vampire the Masquerade is a game that takes place in the world of darkness. It takes place where the kindred vampires live amongst humans and they're constantly reverie in the masquerade where they hide amongst them some choose not to most of them do because if at any point the human population would find out about the kindred very easily one concerted effort could wipe them out and so they live on the balance our story takes place in Charlestown in Boston. We've actually been to a couple places there. Um, and we've got many more, trust me. So, our first session, all of our kindred here met in an alley because a corpse was there. Whether it was guided by the sense of blood, by their pets, or by visions. There, they met Erica, who could tell what they were because Don Pond happened to taste <laughs> some blood in order to get an idea of what this guy was, so it wasn't very hard for anybody to clearly see that. Total, totally <laughs> normal day. Nobody saw oh, yeah. it. 100% <laughs> stealth failed. 60% of the time, it works 100% of the time. That doesn't make sense. <laughs> Good thing I didn't try to roll for stealth or anything. I just went just, for it. Just <laughs> exactly. Yep, we'll for it. I was confident no one would see, and they did. <laughs> That's right. And so, Erica took them back to an Anarch Haven in central Charlestown. There, they the body was brought for examination by the crew. There, they found out that this guy, Terrence Cavendish, was a salesman of sort that was in a bazaar. So, after finding the business card in the wallet... Oh, we're getting there. Okay. Just one second. Once they, once they got to the bazaar, that's right, they found out that a lot of these things aren't exactly on the up and up. This is just a bunch of stuff that people were selling. So... We had our friend Jacob, who wanted to take initiative on the investigation and went to go find the people who had shoes, because our man sold shoes. There, he met another guy. I don't remember his name anymore. I don't remember it either. <laughs> oh, wait. Uh, hold on. I actually, I, I think I have it written down. James. You probably don't. Oh, no. James. No, that was, no, it uh, wasn't James. Different salesman. No. Yeah. Well, I don't know found a guy. <laughs> Oh, I don't think you did either, actually. Maybe not. I don't think so. I tried to touch his face. He, he didn't like you it. You did touch his face. That's right. You did yeah. touch his face. You succeeded in touching his face. Yeah. He failed, failed at failed. trying to sense the beast. Yeah, I failed reading him. Uh, oopsies. He then proceeded to get mad, and security came to, to give you a little slap on the wrist, a little warning. Mm -hmm. so Luckily, Don Pan was able to, you know, disengage, and from there, we were able to find out that... James the Juice Man may have more information. <clears throat> so, we went to James the Juice Man. He definitely had some information at a cost, yeah. which Jacob was not ready to pay. I couldn't pay. <laughs> <laughs> I don't have money. Not on no money. Called on his friend Don Pond <laughs> to, to fuck the bill. <laughs> <clears throat> Son of a bitch. After Don footing Pond. the bill, 
drank a bad cup of juice. But I've got some. <laughs> I good learned I can't drink anyway. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Unfortunately, being undead has its flaws. You can't digest. Bust. Bust. <laughs> Big <Dad>. bust. <laughs> Big sad bust. <laughs> There it led them to a Catholic school down the road around the corner, where they met Father Stanley. Now, Father Stanley was an interesting man, a man of the Lord, unfortunately. He had to be a hunter of the night. Mm -hmm. And he had reason to believe that our man Terrence was something much worse than a man for selling him counterfeit shoes. They didn't even have, they weren't even non slip. These were Damn. not work shoes. That's right. Damn. That's right. And how could somebody do that to a man of the cloth? Yeah, what a fucking asshole. Bastards. <laughs> Gremlin, being an Osferatu, decided to sneak in the back after seeing a shadow whiz by and move in. So after everybody was there, Gremlin looked into a closet and was met with an eye. Ba -ba -ba. And after a short talk with with Father Stanley and a lot of consoling and maybe some confusion. Perhaps this guy was a vampire hunter, but not really. The lights went out. The closet burst open. There was some noises, some struggles, and then psh, broken glass as if something jumped out the window. Everybody made chase where Don Pond, actually no, it was Jacob Moon who got shot at, but luckily the bullet missed. Mist. Mist. <clears throat> I'm invincible. That's right. God chosen. You see the future. <laughs> God you, chosen. <laughs> Don Pond going in on the aggressive used his superhuman agility to make an approach and was able to dodge a bullet. From there, they ended up getting in. Gremlin stealthed in, being invisible, was able to try to sneak in from behind to get this, this assailant. And unfortunately, due to hunger, had a bestial failure and ripped the assailant's throat out. It was amazing. It was bloody and it was gory. So, in an attempt to make things right, after our man Tybalt, the leader of the local Anarchs, came down to try to disarm the situation, Jacob, looking for his pet raven, ran in, was concerned as gunshots were shot towards the raven, and was held up by Tybalt, keeping him distracted for Gremlin to try to make things right and feed her blood <laughs> to the assailant, effectively making uh, a ghoul out of him. Horrific. <laughs> From I mean, it worked. It did. It, it worked. Kept them alive. You're a hero. I was shot at. <laughs> <laughs> You're a hero? Yeah. You're a hero! I'm gonna use that yeah. term lightly. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, you did murder him. <laughs> yeah, just a little. Yeah, to be fair, you put him in that situation. Oh, no, I, I, I meant the fact that she, she, uh, he shot at me. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Alright. Then from there, they took Marcus, who was our assailant, to be interrogated. Unfortunately, being a ghoul, and being a freshly made ghoul, was only interested in talking to his master. So, in the conversation, they found out that whoever his previous master was, as this man was made a ghoul two times over, made it so that he could not speak his name, that Marcus could not speak his master's name. So, in an attempt to, to peer into his mind, Jacob Moon conjured a premonition. And from there saw blood, gore, and a shadow taller than any any being, any human, any monster. And just the word Jacob written out there. That was after I left the room. Yeah, so yeah. then Jacob left the room. And trying to interrogate Marcus a little more, unfortunately Marcus started to have a seizure, started to choke up, struggle, is like limbs cracking in, in different ways ripped open his shirt as the word Jacob was burnt into his chest and then he unfortunately met the final death where his body accelerated in age to somebody who would be about 80 years old at this time 
And that was where we left off. And that is where we'll pick up. And that's a hell of a summary to go into our first episode on YouTube. Yes. After that's right. two lost episode episodes. Two <laughs> yes. lost episodes. Oops. That's right. Uh, that's okay. We did what yep. we had to. We did what we had to. The other series will be in full length. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right. So. Don and Gremlin, you're both in the interrogation room still. And, you know, Marcus is loud, screaming as he as he moves on to the final death. And Tybalt and Eric uh, come, come barging in. They go, what the hell is going on? Uh, well, his old master, I think, got him. What do you mean? Did you even get any information out of him? Well, I think he died before he could say anything. He couldn't reveal a name. He revealed why he was there. But that's pretty much all. And that was it. That's it. That's all we could get. <laughs> and where's Jacob? The, the guy who speaks. Speaks funny words. He got, he got to have something. He went outside the room. He left a little bit ago. So then Tibble just like marches out of the room looking for for Jacob. And so Jacob, you're you're over there looking at your pet raven friend. Uh, yeah. Um, <clears throat> yeah, I'm petting Tetsuya. Yeah. My uh, yeah. my the raven that adopted me. Uh, yeah, you're so, dead. Yeah, your your bird dad. My bird dad. My <laughs> bird parent. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so um, so Tetsuya just kind of like hops off your shoulder and just kind of goes for a for a walk about amongst the amongst the other kindred that are inside this haven, mm. as uh, as Tibalt comes marching in through the door and he's like Jacob did you get anything I uh so I very morosely uh I'm, I don't even look him in the eye I, I I'm just kind of hunched over just looking at the ground just muttering uh, uh a thousand nights we've been calling your name close your eyes but I won't go away all right explain i don't get it it's not good it's not good if it's what i fear it is it's not good okay explain <clears throat> he stands up and looks out the window and doesn't fully answer <laughs> It, it's and, almost um, like it's almost like it, he, he's afraid he's, he's pondering to, it's like afraid to kind of answer it you know like he, he's afraid to say the name that's on that's on his mind and so uh as you're thinking i'm gonna use uh your insanity to remind you that uh during your vision besides your name one other one other word had had come up and it's uh the word blackmore black Hmm. Okay. Blackmore. Okay. Is that something that should be... I should remember? I wiggle no. Okay. But it's important. But it is important. Um, so, I turn back around, and I look at the others, and I... Does Blackmore make any sense to anyone so as you say that everybody is, is clearly racking their brains uh Tybalt's just kind of like has got his finger to his chin he's just walking back and forth like Blackmore Blackmore and Erica is just kind of like yeah I know Blackmore there's a Blackmore bar down almost by the by the river that's the only thing that i could think of that is black more we must go but... there now whoa, the whoa. hold your horses 
the Blackmore Bar is great, but unfortunately, it's a Camarilla safe haven. So you go walking in there, you guys are going to be okay, but you're not going to have any support. You make one misstep, we can't help you. <laughs> out of character laughing, out of character laughing. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> um. You just start cackling to yourself. Yeah, I'm like, yeah, I'm, I'm over by the window. Oh, no. <laughs> um, <laughs> I, um, um, that's fine. We need to be there. We need to get answers for this now. Hey, I'm not going to stop you. It's your guys' names anyways. If you can't find an answer, like, what are we going to do with you? we got to assume you're the one that's out there killing people. I mean... We know harsh. that Marcus was sent to kill the priest. Yeah, but who's to say that Marcus dead. wasn't already a ghoul? Your he ghoul. Was. Prior. He wasn't ugly before. He was your he was your ghoul prior? No, 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 no. He had a master prior to me, but he like broke out into boils and shit after I turned him. <laughs> Yeah, but I don't know how fast that stuff kicks in. He could have been your ghoul for, I don't Immediate. know, months, years. I'm going to storm out the door. He still Let wouldn't have been able... Oh, Even Jesus. <laughs> Someone yeah, going to go stop him? If I was a Tremere, I wouldn't look like this. And then I'm going to go after him. <laughs> I'll I'll talk to Tibble for a little more <laughs> before going out. <laughs> <laughs> like what else we what else could you tell me about the bar well the blackmore is run by camarilla duke someone who's given power but doesn't really have the right to to say anything they just like to make the rules you know they like to make the rules and try to make whoever they want follow them but as long as you know us upstanding kindred don't follow their rules. The rules don't mean shit. Good to know. But you gotta be careful in there, because you don't know their rules. You don't know their ways, their pleasantries. They could probably pick you out from a thousand other kindreds saying that you guys ain't even close to being Camarilla. And to them, it means you're just as good as being Anarch. Keep that in mind. Thank you for the information. Yeah, well... If you guys get any trouble, don't bring them back here. Don't tell them you know us. Don't tell them you've even worked with the Anarchs. You let them assume they are Anarchs and you're just from somewhere else. Otherwise, we're going to be in a whole lot of shit. I personally like to keep my head where it is, so that information's going to stay where it is. No, I wouldn't kill you. They'll do far worse. That's what I was implying. <laughs> Alright, go chase after them. It's about an hour's walk. And I will uh, uh, saunter out the door. <laughs> so, <laughs> Jacob. So you guys get out the door, Jacob. Uh, how far do you walk out before, like, um, do you wait or do you just march? I'm pretty set in going to this place. I, not going in, but I am definitely set to going in the general location. So I'm not stopping for anyone. All right. <laughs> I'm Does he know the way is and... another question. Uh oh. Does he have a GPS? No. <laughs> he doesn't. He's just kind of uh... stomping out of the out of the building. Alright, Jacob. Go ahead and give me a give me a D ten. D ten, alright. Just one? Yeah. We're gonna one roll is... a D ten, and I'm gonna roll a D ten. Oh. Oh. There's no, no stats. Oh no. Oh, shit. Oh, that's a pass. Just give me the number. Seven. All right. Oh, no. Oh, no. So, as as Jacob goes, uh, it seems like everybody is assuming that he knows the way just because he's walking with purpose. <laughs> Unfortunately, uh, he's going the wrong way. <laughs> oh, my God, oh, no. no. And so, it's about an hour into the walk before you guys realize that you've gone the wrong way. And now what was one hour's walk is two hours walk. Uh, I'm just gonna be like, okay, no, I'm taking the lead. I'm gonna whip out my phone and put it in in the GPS. <laughs> A what now? Yeah. 
Uh, it, it, it's technology. I'm sorry. It's, it's, it's probably a, a little big for you. I put my head in the air. And, ah. Yeah, I'm, I'm just gonna put in the address, and I'm I'm going. I'm I'm fucking gone. <laughs> <laughs> um. So you you put in the address, and as you do that, you start to you start to notice you're feeling pretty tired. You, you look at the phone, and it's about four o'clock in the morning. Oh. Uh, Shit. So we may need to pick it up tomorrow. <laughs> so um you guys are not close to where you guys have your havens so at least not within the two hours it's going to take for the sun to start rising fuck <laughs> uh, let's see here yeah what so in general every... what do we do to Dude, you just you just gotta find a place, any place. You could find an abandoned place. You could find a place that's not abandoned and just sleep in their closet. Well, abandoned um, sounds good. you know what? There's some sewer grates around here, probably. Uh, there we go. Good luck if you don't want to join me. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna follow. Yeah, nice. I got no problem with that. The sewer is definitely a good place for people who want privacy. Home, sweet home, I suppose. <laughs> All right. Um, yeah. So you guys managed to find a nice manhole that's pretty secluded, so that you don't, you know, just walk in the middle of the street and let <laughs> yourselves in. What? I think that I think it's okay. That's, that sounds par for my course. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he's a fucking weirdo, anyway. I'm gonna follow them. I mean, just saying. <laughs> yeah. So you guys, you guys get down there, and it's. You know, it's not the Ritz. It's wet. It's moist. There's, like, algae-growing places. You can't tell if it's mold or not. But honestly, like, the smell doesn't bother you, I guess. Uh, it's a, as good a place as any if you're going to rest. Uh, are you guys going to do anything? You have, like, an hour before, like, the sleep hits you. Okay. Well, I'm going to, as I crawl down, I'm going to sit there and I'm, I'm going to start singing to myself... If you're blue and you don't know where to go to, why don't you go where fashion sits? Put it on the Ritz. <laughs> I'm just gonna go, ah. Oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> and then I'm gonna, then I'm gonna just kind of find a place to sleep. Uh, my guy's probably just gonna do a little bit of practice of, um, his his magic just like very minor things um, but okay yeah actually you know what is there are there any rats or anything down here i mean yeah you're in the sewers there's like rats aplenty cool i'm gonna have to eat <laughs> oh you're gonna try to eat a rat i'm gonna try and eat a rat because one it's not a person so that's a good thing uh that's a plus <laughs> two I got that second dot in hunger, and I, I I'd like it gone. <laughs> like to not be hungry. I'd like yeah. to not have I that mean, thing. Good call. Good That's, call. It's just too. Is that close just because it's been a day? Uh, he cast the spell. Uh, well. Yeah, and he failed hunger roll. So yes, unfortunately, that costs yep. some hunger. Yeah. Well, it can. All right. Max Let hunger. me just really quick. Check out the rules on slaking. You can do it. Kill that rat. <laughs> uh, nailed it. Um, I hope you critically oh. success on the murdering this thing into oblivion. Oh, yeah, nice. Oh, nice. Yeah. So, it takes. Luckily, you have an hour, and that's about how long it's going to take because you're going to have to feed on a dozen or more rats. Hooray! Oh, <laughs> you're going to have to go hunting for rats. Uh, you know what? Uh oh! <laughs> you roll. You roll. Uh. Oh, what's it gonna be? Let me find the the quick notes that I have. Insight. No, not insight. You're gonna oh. be hunting. You're gonna be hunting. You need like a dozen or more rats. That's a lot of rats to try to find in a short period of time. Sounds like hunting to me. <laughs> hey, that or streetwise. 
Oh, nice. There's actually a hunting. Go ahead and do it. Is there really? <laughs> oh, son of a bitch. Use your firearm skills. <laughs> Let me check. I just found the summary sheet. So you're definitely going to have to use wits. Wits? Okay. You're definitely going to have to oh, use wits. not worried it's about that at all now. going to be survival. Survival? Wits and survival? Yeah. Oh my god, yes. Oh yes. Okay. Oh, That's two in survival. That's three in wits. I'm a happy, happy vampire boy. Mm. Yeah. Give me two successes. Two successes? Yeah. They're All fast right. little buggers. I have an eight and I have a seven. Two successes. Uh, All right, that's oh, two need. successes. I would have five. So, you you know you spend a you spend your hour just <laughs> hunt, to look at just wandering around. I imagine like you're you're just hunched up, like you keep your hands like close to your chest like you're t-rexing yes as you're just like fit like putting your fingers together and then just like really quick you just like grab something and then you just it's a rat and you just go straight into it and you just start sucking its blood it's mm. uh doesn't taste great it's not a it's not the best it's probably akin to trying to eat a wet napkin um hey don't it fills the it. void <laughs> you can do it there's nothing special but it does the job i guess mm-hmm um you know and after after about 45 minutes you've you've eaten about a dozen rats and uh you've managed to slake uh one hunger nice um how do you guys feel about that i don't i don't really mind it's not people yeah my my way of eating not... isn't much better <laughs> as you say I, my guy doesn't really pay too much attention to it all right. I'm kind of cast off from people's uh, focus. We're just I think. ignoring that it's happening yeah. pretty much. Yeah. Yeah. We're like, yeah. Well, see, like, I imagine it's like something you can only barely ignore because he's just T Rexing and just grabbing around, but he's also <laughs> still singing. I mean, we're still watching. Like, I'm we're picturing that too. This man is fucking weird. I'm. I'm just gonna. I'm gonna keep to myself. I'm ignoring him most of the time. <laughs> All right, and uh, it's coming to be about that time where your blood begins to congeal and you feel your body enter a state of, uh, of torpor. Um, moon? What's that? Good night, moon. Yeah, good night, moon. Good night, good night Jacob, I guess. Good night. <laughs> <laughs> oh, just me? <laughs> Oh, she said no. He just because she said good night. Oh, good night, Moon. Yeah. Oh, okay. <laughs> That's your last name. <laughs> I'm the only one falling asleep today. <laughs> and oh, everybody's no. everybody Goodbye. falls asleep. <laughs> yeah. After yeah, after so, so, oh, after putting yeah. on the Ritz, no one no one can sleep. They're they're just too terrified. <laughs> yeah, they're putting on the Ritz while eating about a dozen rats and just kind of moving their bodies straight about. Uh, Eyes perfect. pinned open, just like oh. Uh. <laughs> Just well, like the I... Lord definitely wanted. definitely caught our attention. <laughs> uh, don't worry. Even if you had trouble sleeping, it takes a lot more uh, willpower to try and stay awake. Um, yeah, because like I said, you know, the kindred, you almost have no choice about going to sleep during the day. Like no. I said, your body, your blood congeals and you, you physically cannot move. It takes a, like a force of will to stay awake it also takes a force of will to wake up so even if somebody broke into your into your Sanctum. safe haven like you it would take a lot to get you out of your torpor which is why usually when you're in your haven is the best time for any hunters to try and get you because everybody's napping that's right mm-hmm it actually is like yeah, I think you need like three successes to like try to wake up. Well, fuck, which is a lot. <laughs> uh, damn, son. But luckily, you're in a sewer. A lot yeah. of people really don't go down there. So nobody wants to be down here. <laughs> Thank God, we're tonight, alone down here. <laughs> for, for, for this day, you are safe. We did it. Woo-hoo. Good job, everyone. <laughs> Successful yeah, episode, been... everyone. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, uh, the end of the episode. Good night, everybody. Yeah. <laughs> okay. good, good day, everybody. We made it to the sewers. <laughs> Success. Yes. And so, as the sun begins to set, you feel your blood begin to uh, to rouse once more. 
Um, everybody, go ahead and give me a hunger check. Give me a oh, rouse check. Son of a bitch! <laughs> yeah, just got rid of this. I got a one. The best number of all. <laughs> nice. So you gain one hunger. <laughs> I Where the that. fuck did I put the hunger? Oh, on? thank Jesus. God! I get to I get to not eat another day. Seven. <laughs> I get to not eat another dozen rats in another day. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the slaughter um, shall be epic. <laughs> yeah. And then just a reminder that uh, your hunger manifests itself in the dice that you roll. So, however much hunger you have, you will have one oh. dice that is a hunger die. Um, okay. So make so sure you keep I. track of that. So if you have two hunger, you're gonna have two dice in there that will contribute towards your hunger die. Um, uh, clones. Clones. What? Oh, so yeah. this, I don't know how um how what the max hunger is, but five. Uh, five. Five. But when you hit five, you Lose pretty humanity. much go beast mode. Yeah. Yeah. You're just like I'm gonna eat. Is that just game over, or is it you? Yeah. Just no, you you just like you want to eat. You're just oh, yeah, gonna but... go eat something. Gotcha. Five was like. Humanity. No, that's five humanity. is like you. Yeah, the, yeah, yeah I was gonna say five is you just. Yeah. Are hungry? You're just, You're just like hungry. fuck it. I'm gonna go eat something. Like you I don't care what it something. is. I don't care where it is. Yeah, yeah, Lemon yeah. Exactly. The beast has a lot more control over you. The more hungry you, you are. Even at so, five hunger, I think you could like barely hold yeah. on. Yeah. All right. So I've added another hunger die just in general. Yeah. Yep. For now. Yeah. Delicious. Until I get hungrier. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's right. And uh, also a reminder, your hunger die, a number one is a bestial failure, two through five is a regular failure, six through nine is a success, nice. and then uh, ten is a critical, but if you, well, if you get a critical, so you have, remember criticals are a pair of tens, mm -hmm. if your hunger die counts as that, you will get a messy critical where your hunger accidentally makes you do awesome things. And by awesome things, I mean superhuman things. Perhaps in a situation where being superhuman is not okay. <laughs> like a mega success. <laughs> like touching faces. That's right, like touching faces. Yeah. Imagine touching if you got a beast, you'll failure on that. You just touch his face and then rip it off. That would be oh, no. <laughs> Amongst like a million people. Oof. Yeah. That would have been really bad. Perfection at its <laughs> finest. Yeah. Yeah. You just straight up murder the guy in public. Yeah. <laughs> so... You guys wake up. It's Ta -da. great. It's just ah. as moist as you remember. Your clothes uh. kind of smell. No. Um, yeah. but you can't really. I guess you can't really smell it since you've been in it for so long. But I'm sure you're not going to be very appealing to the people upstairs. Yeah. Oh well. Oh god. Wasn't uh, to begin roughly. with. I say we should probably change if we can, but I don't know how much time we have to change. No. Oh god. Um. So, good question. How close is my haven from the bar? It's not that far. How so most of the havens are located in central Charlestown. So since you're two hours away, like from the bar, you are away. about an hour away from your haven and oh. then an hour away from there. You'll be an hour away to the bar. So it's like two hours to get point. changed. Yeah, so two hours to get changed, although it's going to be two hours either way. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Well, we might as well go back and get changed if it's still going to cost us two hours regardless. So Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I, I mapped it out. Mine's on the way there. Now, wait a minute. Gremlin. Yeah. You're saying you <laughs> need to get changed. Don't you live in the sewer no normally? Oh, God, no. <laughs> Oh. This is only for pinch, uh, <laughs> like necessary uh, like moments. Uh, I I do not live in the squalor. Well, that's nice. It's, now it's good to know that we're getting to know each other a little bit. Yeah. Well, no, I have a nice apartment uh, with um, a security system, so you know, I, pretty safe for me. I just assumed, you know, the face. Wow. You sure you don't live in the sewer? Very. Well, okay. Well then, I'm. <laughs> I agree with everyone. Let's go get dressed. Let's go change. <laughs> something more for, well, suitable. <laughs> Let's try something fancy. <laughs> so, uh, 
Two yeah, hours. so you guys, you guys get out of the sewer and you start your hour trek. Um, each of your havens are like they're within like a reasonable margin of each of each other, probably like a half hour. But the question is, do you want anybody else to know where your havens are? No, I do not. That's why I'm gonna go. No, I have a feeling we're yeah, all splitting up. Yeah, yeah definitely no. <laughs> I'm gonna go and do an unseen passage. Yeah, same. <laughs> I'll, okay. I'll, I mean, I'll just let y'all disappear, and then I'll just wander around and disappear to my place. Uh, that's a... Yeah, I was gonna say, give me, give me the rouse, yeah. boys. I, I'm not doing a spell. Y'all can do yeah. these spells while I wait for you guys to bounce. <laughs> yeah. I'm just gonna walk, just barely. <laughs> I don't look normal, so you know, it's just yeah. barely six. I mean. I mean, I don't need okay. to use a superhuman speed just to sprint home in I ten mean, minutes. It's not worth actually, it. Actually, <laughs> you know what? I probably didn't need to do that because I'm just going to my shop, which is known where it is. It's got my name on the fucking door. <laughs> no yeah, one knows no. where your shop is. Just I need to climb up onto a balcony to get in, so... Uh... I'm just going to yeah, mysteriously appear in my, my own building. <laughs> yeah. Well, I, will, <laughs> I will just go home. So my do you have a house check? Okay. Me? There you go. No, oh. not you. It's like I didn't do anything, but yes, okay. <laughs> no, if you say so, master. <laughs> <laughs> Whatever the GM says, got it. <laughs> yes, storyteller. I mean, when I get there, I'm just gonna change my clothes and drink a bag. Would you have a bag? Yeah. What are your resources? No, at my haven. I'm going oh. to my haven. Oh, I know. But what are your resources? Would it, would you reasonably have a bag of uh, light in your haven? What's your source? Do you have a source? My source? Oh. Yeah. Rats. I have my um, contact, Gecko. Rats. Rats. Oh, okay. Uh, he is my homie. I don't know if I would. Maybe. I feel like I would, but I don't really know. Do you have anybody who would reasonably supply you in your contacts? Absolutely, but... <laughs> <laughs> Whether I keep it at home, I don't know. It's a great question. Hmm. I suppose I, mean, I now, probably would. Now's a great time to call ahead. Yeah, I would. I would say I'd probably have like one hidden away at the hoose. I'm gonna grab right. money while I'm here. <laughs> <laughs> money! Wow. I'm finally gonna oh, pay I'm, for something. I'm actually gonna dress up my character nice too. I'm not just wearing no. a uniform. No, oh, fuck. I'm gonna wear my nice. finest cloak, which is just a regular cloak. <laughs> He's wearing a cloak. Yeah. I'm gonna be in a fucking hoodie and some jeans. Oh, God. I'm gonna wear a nice, like, nice suit. <laughs> We're gonna get killed. Maybe no, I'm like, going to wear a nice suit. suit. <laughs> oh yeah, I actually do definitely have a contact, so I would definitely have a bag. All right, yeah. So yeah, so uh, you guys drink your blood. You can. Do I have to hunt for my bag in my house. <laughs> uh, no, yeah. I, I think you would know where that is. That's kind of something you don't you don't misplace in case company comes over. Yeah. I, I stalk around my house for the bag. I stalk around my house. I stealthily tiptoe through my own home. Yeah. I mean, it's, my house is haunted, so maybe the bag gets moved around once in a while. I <laughs> use unseen passage in my house. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. I don't know. I don't know who's watching. <laughs> Just extreme paranoia all the time. Yeah. Oh, fuck. Just being paranoid all the time. <laughs> all right, so I'm gonna drop it back down to one. Yeah, you uh, so you guys drink from the blood bag, and it's just, meh. It's it's a, it's a reminder. It's just an aching reminder of when you first turned and you had your first drink. That nothing. Nothing quite matches that euphoria that you felt. So like drinking from this bag is just like an aching reminder that like. You are something that you don't want to be, and yet you crave it. Sip, 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 sip. Yeah, so you guys sip. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Everyone's all dressed up. Uh, Jacob, what did, what did you dress up? Did, did you dress up? Did you even change your clothes? I imagine you were smelly to begin with anyways. 
I did, in fact, change my clothes. Just because I assumed that Gremlin was <laughs> from the sewers does not mean I am. <laughs> uh, I did change my clothes. I Because, you know, it, it's bad for business to not smell somewhat good. So yeah. I, I, I did put on a, a cloak, uh, you know, a nice little cape and whatnot. No, oh, nice. Yeah. Does it have a hood? Uh, it does, actually. Yes. Cool. Oh. Yeah. Nice. All right. Um, all right, so I take you guys don't have anything else you really need to do there. Nope, I got no, money, I'm dressed so. in my finest hoodie. I'm ready to go. I got, I got money, and I'm filled up on rats, so. All right, so... I imagine we're, that you guys are all going to meet at Blackmore. Mm -hmm. Uh, yes. All right. So, you all meet there at the appointed time, somewhere somewhere within like forty five minutes of the of the nearest hour after you guys had made it back. Um, I'm going to say that Don Pond is the is the last one to arrive. <laughs> Because he had to go hunting for his bag. That's right. You can never be too safe. Yeah. <laughs> you keep it attached to a rat so that it's always moving. Oh no. <laughs> it keeps me on my toes. I'm fashionably late. <laughs> yeah, fashionably. all dressed up in, in finest clothes. Fashionably late while being fashionable. Yes. So you you all show up at the bar. You all meet up nearby. You're about a, you know a block away, just so it doesn't look too too suspicious. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so, so here, yeah, yeah. So how do we want to do this? How do you guys approach the bar? I'm uh, I'm gonna stake it out for front, a bit, maybe. Yeah, I'm gonna case it out because all right, the, I'm more looking for someone in particular. Okay. So, uh, Gremlin? Yeah, um, I have my hood up, and I'm just kind of looking around. Seeing if I spot anybody or see something suspicious. Alright, um... So you two go ahead and give me a larceny roll. Fucking so it's gonna what? be <laughs> larceny. I joined this. Uh, you gonna join them too? You're not gonna go and walk up anymore. I mean, I, I, I'm gonna if I if I we meet up and I walk down and they're the you know what? No, I'll stick with my plan. I'm walking up. I don't care. All right, so you guys give me a larceny and resolve check. Oh, oh, okay. Whoops. Let me throw a couple more Three, dice in there then. Four. Yep. So whenever I ask you for a check for a skill, it's always gonna be a skill and an attribute. Okay. Yeah. Oh, I got three crits. Oh, nice. And none on my hunger. Two successes. I have a 10 and an 8. Alrighty. So, um, what'd you get, Gremlin? I got three crits, all on my normal dice. Oh, oh nice. Nice. Yeah. You murdered and then, vision. <laughs> Jacob, you said you had two successes? Two successes. One 10, one 8. Alright, so... Uh, as you guys are just kind of like looking around, trying to see if there's anything like weird going on, uh, Jacob, you notice, uh, and I know that you're looking particularly for any specific person, a specific person, mm -hmm. um, but you, you see people come and go. Um, a lot of people are going through the main door, obviously, but like from an alleyway, you can see a like an alleyway next next by so you can imagine they have like a back door or a side door there is just like an occasional person but otherwise you don't see anybody that you might remember or okay. anyone that you might know all right um gremlin you notice that uh that there's like a fire escape that leads to the second door like the second floor i mean not the second door <laughs> Um, they took that window you know, out long ago. The same. <laughs> yeah, made a door. Huh. Made, put a yeah. door there. <laughs> I'm gonna go to the fire escape. All right. Um, you're just gonna walk there. Um, yeah. Okay. Uh, so Don, you you walk straight up to the front door, and uh, a gentleman 
So, hold on. So before that, you notice that there's a line to get in. Okay. Uh, how do you approach that? Uh, how big is the line, and who is in the line in general? Is it very like dress like, people, or just like yeah, yeah? It's like it's like a line of seven people, and they're all people who clearly are here to enjoy the bar. Okay, so I'm just gonna walk up to the. I'm not gonna go to the line. I'm just gonna go straight to the the, the bouncer. Oh, nice. Yeah. So he he sticks out of your door and he's like, "Whoa, whoa! Don't you see that there's a line, buddy?" I'm sorry, I just had a... I was meeting a friend. Sorry. Yeah, well, your friend can wait a little longer. Back of the line. I, I assure you, it's, you know, he's not going to be happy if I keep him waiting very long. Yeah, and I'm not going to be happy if you keep me waiting here to get you out of the way. So... Shove off. <laughs> Uh, is it so from first glance what can I tell about like the person in general is he just like not That's letting like anybody regular... in or is he just like I mean he's letting people in but like it's usually as people go out then people come in okay So you gotta uh, wait, or? Mm, I don't really want to wait, but I'm trying to think of what else I could do. I could. I don't really know a skill that would be like a bluff or whatever, but. Uh. Um, no, I would just. I would. Do you want to try to intimidate the man? Oh, oh God. Uh. Oh uh, no! Nope! Not with uh. <laughs> Not in this appearance, unfortunately. I'm dressed in nice attire. <laughs> yeah, you don't want to mess that up. Don't I don't want to mess up the nicer clothes. Don't, don't <laughs> I would normally, nice clothes, but though. not in these nice clothes. <laughs> <laughs> um, I was trying to think what you have again for uh, your disciplines. Yeah, not a not a whole lot to help. I know intimidation is pretty much the only thing. Persuasion's there, but. I didn't really give much for it. Well, to the back of the line, or you could try persuading him or intimidating him. I'm going to get into the back of the line before more people show up. <laughs> uh, so, so uh, Gremlin, you kind of like see Don Pond like confronting the bouncer, and you watch Jacob just go to the back of the line. Um, as you're approaching the alleyway, go ahead and give me a stealth check so you're gonna give me a stealth and dexterity no, i was gonna say probably good so that's one. three um i have two successes and a critical whoa all right so yes yeah, so you managed to slip into the side alley uh bouncers none the wiser uh, and you're making your way to the fire escape. Yeah. Yeah. So uh, you've just passed your first challenge and you realize there's a second challenge. The oh. fire escape starts up halfway up the building and there's a ladder, but it's retracted. So um, let me open the manual quick. Big jumps. Big <laughs> jumps. Because I got uh, big jumps. Don I just Pond, want to anything? make sure. Um, I was gonna try to do like uh just like a I don't know uh, uh the intimidation just doesn't fit but I want to <laughs> I mean you can why yeah, not fuck it. go for it uh, oh, okay so you want to intimidate him. Yeah, I'm gonna go for intimidate. I say, just all right. What do you? Let's not make this any harder than oh, it needs boy. to be. Oh no! <laughs> all right. Um, yeah. I don't so know. I only have. I just intimidations. Give me intimidation and manipulation. Ah uh, yes, the best skills. <laughs> I don't see it though. Where did it go? I just saw it. Manipulation. Okay, so that's one. 
Okay. Nice. You get one dice. I get three. Technically. Nice. Yeah. I was gonna say you get that plus. Your... I got one success. I got a nine, a four, and a one. Ooh. Nice. Not great. Yeah. <laughs> so uh, he just kind of looks at you, and he he grabs you by the collar of your nice shirt, and he's like, "Uh, look, buddy, you're gonna have to try way harder than that if you're gonna try to scare me." Now you get to the back of the line, or you're gonna pay the fine, and I ain't talking money. Oh no! Oh boy! Oh no! <laughs> oh no! <laughs> should I just go rogue? Or oh I just no! Play guys? Uh, fine. For cordial, I will join <laughs> Jacob in the back, of the line. Well, uh... So um. <laughs> I have um I have soaring leap. Oh nice. That's uh celerity. Um that's under potent potency. Yep. Nice. What does it cost? It's is free. It free. It's yep. a freebie. It's free and I can go 3 times equal to my potence. So I can jump 3 meters up. You got to look at that. Definitely enough. Um, you gonna do anything, or are you just gonna do that? Yeah, I'm gonna get up there. <laughs> I'm going up. Okay. So. Oh no. <laughs> you jump up, and you're you're able to get up to to the ladder. And you hear a gasp. <gasps> oh. Oh, my God. So oh. there's like four people having oh. a smoke at the back door, and they're just like, "What the fuck was that?" Oh God, the good shit. Like, it's escalating it just, already. Like, the good cush. Did it just like shake where they're at? They just watched you. Oh, you didn't. Just you me? didn't check to see if anybody was there. You just walked in and j jumped <laughs> oh, three meters. Oh my god. Ah, uh, yeah. I've been. I've been practicing some parkour. Uh, can can somebody help me up? So they're not. They're on the ground. They're on the floor. Oh, like, they're on the ground. The back door on the floor. Yeah, on the street level. You're, you know, oh, okay. ten feet above them. Hi. Yeah. So, How the fuck did you do that? One, you know, one of them is just like Sam. The other one's like, "That was fucking sick, bro! You gotta teach me how to do that." Uh, you know, I I can. Um, I oh, I do classes every like Thursday. Damn. But like, how much is it? I don't have a lot of money. It's like you know. 10 13 bucks per session that's affordable i gotta start yo what's what's the name of your business what like where, where can i find you um <laughs> one lie creates another our business is a parkour daily <laughs> it's on um main street oh it's not that far from here oh, nice. no no this is, where this is where you're practicing yeah yeah yeah, yeah, yeah. what's your name um, you can call me Claudia. Oh, Claudia, I gotta remember that. I'm going back inside. I'm gonna tell everyone about you. I'm gonna get you so much business. Oh, thanks. And he just like <laughs> he he runs inside as everybody else just kind of like oh, keeps God. keeps smoking. They're just like whatever. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna shimmy up <laughs> so I'm actually it on the fire escape. <laughs> So, uh, so Jacob and Don, you guys make it up to the, to the front of the line, okay. and uh, bouncer, the bouncer looks at you, Don. It's just like, uh, so you did your time, huh? So regret, regrettably. Oh, do you know each other? So I'm yeah. guessing Don didn't tell me anything. <laughs> we're, <laughs> nope. we're acquainted. We're acquainted, all right. Ah. Oh. Oh, that's nice. Two friends meeting up again. That's delightful. Yeah, we're such good friends that, you know, he owes me some money. I think I think it's time to pay up. Bro? Um, nope. 
I'm just gonna walk past him if I can. <laughs> oh no. Oh no. Yeah, go ahead and um give me Hmm. So definitely strength. And we'll say Brawl. <laughs> Give me a strength and brawl check. I don't have brawl. For sneaking so by. So you get one dice. Uh, sneaking by. Uh, who said that the bouncer was going to let him sneak by? Oh, he said he was going to try and sneak by if he could. That's what it was. I said, yeah, but yeah. Oh, okay. the bouncer's not going to let him do that. Yeah, you're right in front of him. You don't sneak by. You try to, you're just trying to walk by him. Weirder things have happened. <laughs> could I definitely shift by him? <laughs> Uh, that's probably the, that's probably not gonna be any different to be we honest. Can try. We well, can okay, so hold on. Try. So you want to try? So you want to try to evade him? Yeah, just like a a quick sidestep around him. All right. Yeah, yeah. We could we could do that. Let's go ahead and give me um. Hmm. Let's see. A let's will. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, give me a will because uh, if this goes wrong, we're gonna need to find out where everything goes. <laughs> Oh boy! Just oh remember, boy. if there's a will, there's a way. <laughs> you know, yeah. Just give me, give me, give me brawl, but instead of strength, give me dexterity. I don't have brawl, so it's just one strength it's still roll. One dice. Yeah, so it's gonna be dexterity plus one, one dice. Uh, dex plus, so four dice. Oh, nice. Yeah. Uh, I don't know what you get. I got a five, a four, a five, and a six. Oh, <laughs> so one success. So one success. <laughs> Yeah, so you like, you try to to like, you know, juke him as you get as you go by him, <laughs> but he just places his hand on your chest, and you just like stop immediately. Damn, oh, no. I am not He's lucky like, today. Ow. You really gonna you really gonna do a pal like that? You know, I was gonna let you in. You know, you just give me the fifty bucks you owe me. Oh, fifty bucks. Well, done. Remember, you 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 had me hold it for you. I I've got the money for you right here. I, oh, wow. I take the money out and I pay for his way in. Aww. <laughs> so, uh... Hmm. Let's see. Let's leave it up to chance. Oh, no. <laughs> okay. All right. All right. Yeah, so he, he takes the 50 bucks, he puts it in his pocket, and he goes, Man, Don, you got some good friends, some real winners. Now get in there, you know? <laughs> Don't cause no trouble. <laughs> oh, I can think so of you guys... touching. Jesus. Yeah, I was gonna say. Imagine Don's face is just like, like crunching his teeth. Yeah, pretty much. <laughs> I can't just roll for shit. <laughs> grinning and bearing it. Yeah. This maniac saved my life. <laughs> yeah, this fucking psycho. It's so... hard not to be the murder hobo my character wants to be. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> So Gremlin, you you made it up to the to the stairway, and it's only got one exit. It's up top, and it goes into the second floor. Um, I'm gonna be peeking in. I'm looking around. All right. So there's no window. So it's only the door. Oh yeah. So um. Yeah, I'm just like yeah, popping it open, sliding my head in. <laughs> Give me a stealth and wits. All right, so let's see. Two successes. Two successes? Okay. Mm -hmm. So, you manage to open the door slightly ajar and poke your head in, and you can see that you're basically in the fire escape that's on the second floor right next to the stairs. So the stairs would go back down and take you to the, the main floor, uh, but other than that, it's a it's a hallway, and it's only got like three or four doors on the other end. You can only imagine probably offices and stuff, but it doesn't seem like anybody's there. Okay, well, I'm I'm, I'm gonna like double check that because last time nobody was around, I still like you know got seen. All right, yeah. So just give me a uh, wits and awareness. Looking for three successes. Damn, I was one short. All right. 
Uh, things look pretty good. Look pretty clear. There really isn't All anything right. extra. There really is nobody there. All right. Um, uh, then I'm gonna I'm gonna roll a hunger die for unseen passage. Nice. Success. All right. No hunger. No hunger. All right. So you go in a visitable. Ooh, I'm gonna go eavesdropping on some of these doors. All right. Yeah. So just the yeah. Give me just give me more. Give me war wits and awareness. Um, so here's what we'll do. Give me stealth and dexterity first. Give me okay. four rolls of that. You're going to every door? Um, yeah. Okay. Three. Oh, I dropped one. Oh no. Well, there it goes. <laughs> Yo, <laughs> so that was three successes oh all right so that was the first one yep give me three more of oh. dex and stealth yep all oh. right cool is that what that was uh okay so i got one crit two successes and a uh, bestial on my hunger die. Oh, no, 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 All right, no. keep going. <laughs> Don't worry. Bestial failures only fail you if the entire roll is a fail. Oh, fantastic. <sighs> yeah. Um, I got one success on that one. All right, you can stop there. Uh, Then give me what's in awareness. So you're going to give me two. You can do it. Oh, God. Three successes. Okay. Nice. Um, and a crit and a success. Nice. Okay. All right. So we're going back downstairs, and you guys have gotten in, and you can now see why there's like a bouncer and I guess a buy-in. Uh, yeah. it's freaking packed. Everybody's at the bar, and there's actually a band playing um, on the inside here. Nice. Um, so either everybody's at the bar, they're seated, or they're all in a huge crowd just by the, the small stage that is offered to the band. I'm going to use Sense the Beast. Um... Resolve an animalism. I'm trying to remember... I'm trying to think, can you even use that on uh, like on things that aren't a particular thing? Oh, okay. So I can't like just say uh, No, you need speech. you need a target. Oh, I need a target? Oh. Yeah. Okay then. Can well, I use investigation you... of the area or is that just for like crime specifically? I mean it depends on if you're looking for something particularly specific, otherwise I can just kinda tell you. Like what you see generally. I'd be looking more for like the shady things going on. Sure. Yeah. Give me a. Give me resolve and investigation. And I'm gonna be looking for anyone in particular, or you sure. know, the the person that is very much on my mind right now. Yeah. So give me a resolve and investigation. Resolve and investigation. So I had two successes and four fails. Okay. Failures don't count against you, it's just only successes. No, here. because you so got two, two successes. successes. Okay. Yeah. I got two successes. All right. So you're both uh, looking around the room for, for shady things and for a particular person. Um, there's a lot of people here. So, like, it's really hard to pick out any particular person, but obviously you know who you were looking for, and nobody here really looks like them. Um, but Don, as, as you're looking around, you're looking for shady things, you actually pick up uh, a whiff of the smell of blood. Um, as, as you're, like, just 
whiffing the smell of blood, like your your kindred senses really start honing in to be a little more acute. And you're actually noticing that, you know, people are in the crowd, people are making out, and the kindred here are actually feeding amongst everybody under the guise of lustful acts and public displays of affection. Hmm. Ooh. Interesting. Ooh, so you definitely can tell that this place like isn't filled to the brim with kindred, but there there's a handful. Is it a mix? Yeah, a mix okay. of human and kindred. Okay. So what do you guys want to do? Yeah, there's a band, there's a bar, there's a couple tables. They're all really full, though. I'm going to go to the band. I'll go talk to the people at the bar. It's a very Jacob thing to do. Go to the band. Yeah. It's music. He likes nice. music. All right, so Gremlin, you're uh, you're listening in on the first door. You, you put your, your ear up to the door, and there's nothing really going on there's actually the sound of a faucet you can imagine that this is probably a bathroom uh there's only one person in there but you're not really getting much more than that they're kind of like humming to themselves humming to the tune of the music that's playing downstairs um yeah so it's boring so you move on to the next door uh and you put your you put your ear up to the door and the door kind of like starts to crick open and you manage to catch yourself before before you push the door all the way open um and you hear talking like the talking stops as the door kind of cricks open and somebody just opens the door really quick to see if anybody's there um and you see a man who is like well dressed all dressed in black he's got a white tie but like he looks through you he doesn't notice you um but you can notice some like parts of his face don't seem right they don't seem normal for a human uh and he shuts the door and you go you go to the third door where you you lean in to to hear and you hear the sound of like the cocking of a gun behind the door oh. and you just hear don't move oh i'm not moving <laughs> bust <laughs> oh fuck so the door the door opens and behind it you see you see a woman and she just like she's dressed up like she's ready for you know like a dance party and she just like points the gun in your direction you can tell that she's she knows where you are but doesn't know where she's pointing uh... and she's just like go on show yourself yeah okay <laughs> So I drop and I kind of have my hands up like, yeah, hi, hi there. Yeah, and your hood's up, right? Yeah. Yeah, so she takes the gun and she just like uses it to put your hood off. And she just, oh, oh, God, man, yeah. Yeah. you did not, you did not roll the lottery when, when you were embraced, did you? I mean, I did better than most. Sure. No, what the fuck <laughs> are you doing here? Uh, my my thirst for secrets, uh, you know, sometimes it gets me. Yeah, it's getting you to some pretty pretty bad places. Why are you yeah, sneaking in yeah, on the Camarilla? Is. You well, an anarch? No. Oh God, no. I don't know. A face like that. It's a face of a liar. We're also a face that are usually heavily in the Camarilla. Hmm. Yeah. Well, next time you try sneaking in. Look for cameras, and she points up at a camera in the hallway. Oh. Oh, that's very neat. Yeah, someone with a thirst for secrets, and you go invisible right on camera. Not good at it keeping happens. secrets. <laughs> Can't trust you guys. Yeah, 
some of us um we're not very clever she, she keeps the the gun pointing at you and knocks on the the door that you were inspecting last uh and they open the door i give a little the, wave <laughs> yeah and it's the guy in the black suit and white tie and he's like huh so we got a guest hi Sure, in. So uh, we go back downstairs. And so Jacob, you, you, uh, you walk uh, up to the band. They're just like a an indie band. It's not really a name that you can that you recognize. It's probably from like one of the local colleges, but they seem pretty popular with the with the crowd. And I'm enjoying it as well. Oh, nice. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah. So you, you dancing? I'm totally dancing. Oh yeah. Oh, nice, nice. Yeah, that's nice. So, uh, Just... as as you're dancing, you're like bumping and grinding with people because it's really crowded. So like, there's no there's no way you can avoid just like bumping into people. Yeah. Um. And you bump into a guy who looks at you and he's like, "Hey!" He's got to shout because like you can oh. barely hear him from all the music. Oh, okay. <laughs> I was waiting for more He's to like, be said. <laughs> it's just trying to get trying to get your attention. Yeah, yes, yes. The name's Jake. Who are you? Oh, 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 uh, uh, Jake, Jacob, Jacob. Oh, wow. That's that's, that's a coincidence, now, isn't it? Oh, isn't isn't that amazing, man? You know, you know, it's got to be destiny. I, I already like you, man. We share the same name, but. You ever wanted to? You ever wanted to like? I'm bad, I'm bad at, I'm bad at advertising. There was this, there was this girl outside. She could jump up like like thirty feet. <laughs> would you ever? Would you ever want to do that? That does sound incredible. <laughs> I know it's amazing. You want? You want? You want to come with me and and go see where she jumped? By any chance, did this person have a hood on? Ah, oh, totally. Oh, you already know her. You already know her. You take classes with her. Man? I take classes there. Yes. Oh. Man, you know the name of the business? <laughs> um, well, I mean, it's gone through a few different names. I'm not quite sure which one she decided on, though. Ah, you know her personally? Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Uh, well, uh, man, that's amazing, man. Man, you just get cooler and cooler. You... It's it's a small world after all, isn't it? <laughs> oh yeah, that's right, Jake, Jacob. If you knew the person you could do the thirty foot jumps and shit, <laughs> that shit's fucking, that shit's fucking crazy. And so like, as as like, he's disarmed you with his voice and his unattentiveness. Uh, you feel something sharp on your side. Oh. And he goes, you should just, you should just, you should come outside with me, man. It would appear I should, in fact. Oh. Oh no. Yeah. <laughs> nice. Yeah. So, uh, so he like guides you out. Um, Don. So you're at the you're at the bar. Uh, you can see that there's there's a couple of bartenders, but only one of them is like doing their job really well. The rest of them are kind of like slogged. Yeah. So I'm gonna just I'm just gonna make my way up to the bar and just like make eye contact to talk to one of them. Sure. So the one who's doing their job really well is the only one who has the time to really catch your eyes, and uh, she comes over and she's like, "What can I get for you?" Uh, I'm looking for an acquaintance of mine. A lot of people coming in on the bar, but luckily you found the right person. What's so? What are you looking for? I'm looking for the owner. The owner, huh? And, uh, what's the owner's name? Uh, he's just gonna... Um... He's just gonna be like, I'm not going to be stopped by these trifles. I'm just looking to speak with them. No. They sent right, me word me... to talk to them and... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Go on. That was it. <laughs> okay. Uh, give me... Persuasion. Give me persuasion and composure. Uh, uh, 
Uh, I got the best persuasion. Uh oh. One of persuasion. Nice. That's okay. I rolled terribly. Oh my oh, god, yeah. no. Four fails. <laughs> Four fails? Wait, five fails. Sorry. Oh, oh no. All of them were fails. A three, a four, a five, a four, and a one. No. Sweet summer Damn. child, no. Yeah, yeah so I, can't, just... I, I can't roll for shit today. Oh. <laughs> yeah, so she kind of just like looks you up and down. She's like, I don't buy it, Jack. I think you need to, you need to go find somebody else. So about that drink. Oh God. So. Uh... Oh no. Time to get sick again. I was gonna Whoa! say. Like, <laughs> I was gonna say, I was gonna say th this isn't the place that's gonna actually serve that type of drink. So I'm just gonna uh, walk away and do a quick perception of if I can see where Jacob's gone. <laughs> sure. Yeah. Um. Go ahead and do uh, awareness and uh, resolve. Resolve. You say. Okay. Yeah. I did great that time. I got uh, three successes, and one of them was a crit. Oh, thank God. Nice, nice. So, yeah, so uh, you totally see him walking out with somebody you don't know. Uh, I will I will tail, you know, tactfully behind, but not enough where, like, he knows I'm being – I'm following him. <laughs> Oh, for sure. Yeah, you're in a crowd, so you don't even have to roll for that. It's pretty easy to just like act casual, dance my way across. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Over there, doing pelvic yeah. thrusts, just <laughs> arms up, just thrusting. Yeah. Yeah, I'm just gonna thrust my way towards the. Oh, oh, God. God. <laughs> Ooh, a sentence uh, I never thought I would street. hear. <laughs> I'm gonna thrust towards the door. Yeah, nice. Thrust towards the door. <laughs> my God. Discreetly. So Jacob, <laughs> you uh, you are guided out the back door. Um, oh, out the back. Yeah, out the back door, Ooh. out the side door. Looks uh looks pretty familiar to those paying attention. Yeah. Um I was not. <laughs> I didn't look at the doors. <laughs> <laughs> I just walked into the front and then had to pay a bill to get in. <laughs> yes, I did. <laughs> <laughs> well, he didn't so... have to pay it this time. <laughs> oh, no. Yes, so <laughs> You've, yeah, you've printed the bill this time. Yeah, this is just this is just going to be a relationship as one person pays the other person's <laughs> bills. Yeah. Just our, back poor and fucking, forth. our poor fucking wallets are just suffering because of my shitty rolling. <laughs> <laughs> Buy our way out of this problem. <laughs> yeah. So oh. so Jake guides you out. He's like man you make this harder than it needs to be and like there's three other people out there just like having a smoke and they're just like ha oh, good job jig man you found you found you found someone yeah yeah um and so i'm gonna make i'm gonna make i'm gonna have you i mean i'm gonna make you do a composure and subterfuge check composure and subterfuge oh my god you've got this <laughs> Let's see what two dice can accomplish. Oh, oh. no. <laughs> Man, you know, I haven't had this uh, terrifying of a roll before, so uh, this should be fun. <laughs> oh, yes. Success. Both successes. Six and a nine. Nice. Nice. Two successes? Oh, nice. So, um... One of them kind of looks at you, and, like, you can feel that he's, like, trying to sense you out. He's trying to suss you out. Mm -hmm. He's like, no, nah, I don't know about this one, man. He's like, it's, it's hit or miss. He's pretty, pretty good at hiding it, but can't be sure if it's, it's for real. But, I mean, you already got you already got the poker. You got the sticker in him already, so, I mean, just just poke him a little bit. So, uh, so Jake, from behind you, just kind of pokes you in the side mm -hmm. and draws blood ah. how do you react to being oh. stabbed <laughs> you've been stabbed i grit my, oh my teeth. god what was that i grit my teeth grit your teeth nice hmm plays a good part too jake lick it 
Yes. Oh. Uh, anytime, <laughs> man. And he just like, he just like leans over and licks the blood coming out of your wound. Oh. And so no. he's like, he's like, oh, oh yeah. <sighs> that's that's some good stuff. We got we got us a funny man here. Oh, yeah. Oh no. Yeah, I, I'm I'm seeing shit, man. Oh no. Or maybe I smoke too much. I can't really tell. Oh no. <laughs> and they're just like, oh, oh yeah, we oh, got us a live one. Um, so Don, you you make your way out the door. They didn't really bother closing it all the way, so you kind of catch bits and pieces of the conversation, and you hear, uh, give give me a give me an awareness, awareness and resolve. Uh, let's see. Uh, awareness is what two? Resolve two five. One success. Four threes yes. and an eight. Oh, <laughs> nice. Yeah. So, <laughs> yeah. So you, you hear a couple of things. You just hear that's some that's some crazy shit. I'm seeing things, man. Or maybe that's the smoke. <laughs> it's like what you catch. Damn. Um. You gonna do anything? Um. Yeah, I will. I'll step out and make my presence known. All right. Yeah. So you you open the door, and uh, Jake kind of <clears throat> turns at you, and uh, Jacob, you don't feel the pointy bit uh, in you anymore. Mm-hmm. Like, you know, poking at you. Yeah. It's no longer like aimed at you. Okay. And he goes. Well, man, what are you what are you doing? I don't I don't know who you are, man. I can't trust you. I can trust Jacob. I can't trust you. Uh, uh. Interesting the way of showing it. Say, uh, <clears throat> Jacob, have you made some lovely acquaintances tonight? Well, you could certainly say that. I think we all have tonight. Yeah. Uh, one of the one of the guys in the group is just like, "Hey, man, we're just hungry here." It's just the way that we like to feed. It's the way we like to, the way we like to slake our hunger, man. You know, feel bad about, about sucking it out of any other, you know, old John or Jane. Feel a lot better if it's just out of one of our, one of ourselves. You do realize there's another way, correct? Mm, I don't know. Cause we're all monsters, so feels pretty good to me if I'm taking it from the monsters. You only become monsters if you let yourself become a monster. Funny man speaks, speaks some wise shit, but funny words. We we made up our minds about how we like to eat, so yeah. if you could just, you know, be chill, let us get some some good drink, gentlemen. You know, I think you, you need to calm down and rethink your plan. <clears throat> Find someone else tonight. There's plenty of others. He's... Jake, uh... Oh, go ahead. He's with me tonight. Leave him alone. Go find some others. So Jake, like, points his blade at you, and he's like, Man, don't you go start talking that shit, man. I don't got time for this, man. I'm fucking hungry, dude. I'm fucking crazy. You can't stop me. <laughs> I'm just gonna try to talk him off the cliff and be like, you're fine. Just relax. Just I'm others. fine. I'm going to be really quick and disarm him of his knife while he's paying attention to Don over there. Okay, yeah. So we'll do this combined. So Don, go ahead and give me a persuasion and a composure. And then Jacob's going to give me... Definitely dexterity on one of them. Yeah, give me a brawl. What was the first the one you gave me? Dexterity. Perfect. You gave me a composure and what? Uh, composure and persuasion. persuasion. I think yeah. Uh, four successes. <gasps> nice. Two critical successes. Oh hell yeah. <laughs> and oh yeah. And one was a crit, by the way, too. Mine. And one fail, and then two regular successes. Nice. So. You're you're trying to talk him down the cliff. You're just like you know, just relax, Jake. You know, um, and while he's distracted, Jacob, you 
you like just come up behind him and rest the knife out of his hand uh and you do it so deftly that now you have the knife (laughs) and i'm going to move myself out of the middle of all of them because that'll be a great idea and gonna hold the knife and tell them now as not wanting to be your dinner tonight I'm going to have to bid you all a fond adieu. Me and Don here are going to go elsewhere. You can find someone else. The Jake just kind of like looks and he's like, I trusted you, man. I trusted you too, buddy. Then you put a knife in his side. (laughs) Mm. Yeah, man. Got me all fucked up and shit. Now I don't even have my knife. Uh, and... Quick lore <laughs> question. Sure. Is he gonna turn into a Malkavian now? No. No. Oh, that's thank just... God. Well, okay. <laughs> I don't know if I can yeah, rest with so that on my mind. You've you've lived long enough, um, so you know what okay. it takes to actually become okay to make a kindred. Yeah. So in order to become a kindred, you have to drink. Oh. Every last drop of blood okay. out of of a human and then give them some of your blood. Okay. My guess is he's part of my clan, unfortunately. <laughs> oh. Um I was gonna say too bad we can't we don't have lore as a skill. Yeah, I do not have that. that. Is, um oh, we, have a, we have a cult. Do we have a cult? Give me a yeah, we can use firearms <laughs> to find out. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> Give me a. If I had a yeah, gun, a cult is a. Is if only I had a gun. Yeah, a cult is like a cult and intelligence. Oh yeah, there it is. Yeah, go ahead and give me an occult, and. I do have that. Yeah, intelligence. What? I don't have the best of that, but that's okay. Oh. Wow. Uh, four successes. All awesome. nice. Yes. Oh, wow. We get to learn. <laughs> All right. Yeah. So, um. You guys have been around the block enough that you know that there are different ways for each kindred to to feed. And um, these guys are clearly are a coterie of some sort. They're a group, um, but they're clearly blood leeches. They prefer to feed from other vampires. Uh, yeah. Nice. Mm. Poor Aww. bastards. Well... <laughs> I'm, I'm going to kind of look at them and go and say, Now, you do realize there are all sorts of vampires inside there, right? I'm not too concerned that you won't find someone to eat. <laughs> but you were just so easy, man. <laughs> do I look easy now? <laughs> <laughs> I guess I was wrong. Damn. Yeah, just... Yeah, he's like, damn, man. And he just, like, walks past you and just goes through the door and then goes back inside. (laughs) Good boy. Not a care in the world. And the rest of them are just like, we're not trying to pick fights. We just kind of let him, we let him do what he does. Make him feel good about himself. He's a little, a little slow. (laughs) Aww. A little too smoked out. I just can't have a victory, can I? (laughs) (laughs) Oh, no. I'm going to stash the knife on myself now. That'd because, be one, it's got my blood on it, so fuck them. Uh, and I'm just going to walk out of that alleyway. In my head, it's canon that you just put the knife in the knife wound. <laughs> That's just where you <laughs> store it. You just it back into it. yourself for <laughs> safe storage. That way I can claim someone stabbed me if the cops show up again. <laughs> nice and safe. Yeah. Help, I'm being stabbed. <laughs> Cops show up again. Well, hey, aren't you the guy that got shot, that claimed to be shot before? Like, I got stabbed. Well, I got stabbed yeah. this time. They I got stabbed this time. The yeah. There's a wound this time. <laughs> yeah, they told me not to take it out of the wound. They said leave it in, so I did. Yeah. So I've been leaving it in there. Yeah. <laughs> so you guys walk into a, walk back into the bar. Nobody's giving any hard time except oh. the the bartender is at the door waiting for you guys. Oh, and she and she looks at Don. She's like, "You got a friend?" 
guess I've seemed to have acquired more friends today than I could imagine. <laughs> yeah, well, today's your lucky day. The boss wants to see you. She points at, at you, Don, and your friend, and she points at Jacob. That's oh. about damn time. I'm going to look at Don. You're a really popular one today, aren't you? I feel so loved. <laughs> so lucky. <laughs> so, uh, so Gremlin. Her wherever she goes. <laughs> no, yeah, she guides yeah. you guys up the stairs. Yeah. So, Gremlin, you are inside the office of a well dressed man, like I said, all dressed in black except for his nice white tie. No stains. Thing is pristine. What an asshole. Um, there's a yeah. There's a girl. There's the girl who's pointing the gun at you and still has it pointed at your head. Um, and there's also just like a couple other people in the room who are just kind of sitting and watching. Glad I wore my uh, my nicest sweatshirt. Yeah, you don't really fit in. So no. clearly, you weren't looking for uh, a night on the town. Why are you here? Says uh, the man in the no. black suit and white tie. Well, there was a bit of a conundrum. Um, somebody decided to, you know, drain a body and leave it in the middle of um, an alleyway. Hmm. That does sound like a problem. Now, what do we have to do with that? That's what I want to know. We had, um... One of those, one of those freaks, you know, they can oh. look into the future or something. Oh, uh, Malkavian? Yeah, uh, they led us here. Hmm. Funny. Look, the name's Sergio. Yeah. I kind of run this place when the boss isn't around. So, I need you to be very specific about where your Malkavian friend is and anybody else that you came with. Well, my guess is after being here for a short period of time, they're probably on our, their way here. And why is that? They get into trouble. Hmm. Just like me. <laughs> and so, as you say that, uh, there's a knock <laughs> on the door. Ah! Ah! I'd say and that's so them. Sergio oh. nods at the the girl and the gun to your head to open the door. She opens the door and uh lo and behold it's Jacob and Don guided by the bartender. It's like Welcome Yeah, you wanted to see them. It's like you got a pretty good uh pretty good angle on your friends there. You know, you know them well. We've been watching them this whole time. Got cameras all over the place. Eyes like a hawk. Uh, I've gotten to know them a little bit over this time. <laughs> so he looks at you too. He's like, "Well, come on in. Take a seat. You know, take a seat with your friend." All right. Oh, hello, Gremlin. Oh, hello. What? A, what I think a... Don's gonna look at the the nicely dressed man and nod and try to shake his hand. Seems as if everyone's making friends with well, everyone but me. Apparently, well, no. Uh, uh... Everyone's so, making friends uh, today. Made some friends today. <laughs> as you as you try to go up to shake Sergio's hand, one of the guys who just is sitting on the side of the room just like pulls out a shotgun from under the table. And Sergio's just like, you don't need to get any closer than that. Relax. Being formal. <laughs> yeah. Formalities get you get you cleaned up here. Now sit sit your ass down. I'm gonna look. I'm not gonna look at the guy with the shotgun. I'm gonna look at the guy in the suit and still just hold out my hand to shake it if he oh, wants to. My God. Mm -hmm. All right, Sergio just like gets up from behind the table and uh, shakes your hand under the supervision of a shotgun. That's fine. That's it. <laughs> nice. Then I'll sit down. <laughs> Being polite. So, Sergio sits down and like eyes you guys closely. And he's just like, no shit. Mm -hmm. And he's looking at you, Jacob. Oh, oh. Do you know me by any means? Ah, oh, of course, Jacob. Surprised you don't remember me. 
Well, through time, things get a little fuzzy. <laughs> it wasn't time that fuzzed that up. I'll tell you that. Well, that's also correct. You want to remember me? You're going to have to dig real deep, but that's not that's not what we're here for. If you're here, clearly there's a bigger problem than people getting drained of blood. My boss tells me to keep an eye on the situation around here when he's not around. Luckily, my boss don't know you, Jacob. My boss knew you. We'd all be in some real shit. Old boss... He knows you, but that was a long time ago. Switch sides, you see. Now, you said people was getting drained? He's referring to me, right? Any of you? Yeah. Um, we, we have a name if you want it. Name don't matter. Names, faces... They all just fade away. I'm sure he didn't even get a proper burial. Uh, no. No, he did not. I'm gonna Where'd use you find premonition, him? by the way. Alright. This one's a, this one's a freebie. Oh, thank you. Hooray! Yeah. Kind of you. Um, thank you, storyteller. But you're gonna give me a... Resolve? Actually, no. Composure? Oh. Nah. Nah, 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 nah. You wish. Strength check. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Strength check. How strong can you wrest yeah. this vision out of your head? Yeah. <laughs> Alright, composure. Give me a composure, and... Actually, I think it's just gonna be a composure check. How well can you keep your cool? One die. <laughs> Not very well. Oh, no. Uh Okay. I can tell you right now, you're gonna fail. <laughs> yeah. I, should I roll even? Roll. I don't need to. I don't need to have a premonition to tell you you're gonna fail. <laughs> yeah. So don't even roll. Okay. So, um, as he's like talking, his words like slow down and kind of draw out as he's just, you know, just saying things, and like the perspective gets funny like the world around you kind of it's kind of like when you stare down a straight line for a really long time it almost looks like it stretches forever and all of a sudden it seems like it's stretching further than it should as if like it's all converging on a single point far away from you and as it does you realize that you're upside down and looking up and you see just a tall tall shadow you feel pain you feel you feel fear and next to that shadow is seven no eight eight more one smaller than the last until it goes down to the shadow that's probably the size of a kid and the, the shadow of the kid is what draws your your eyes and you look trying to trying to see if you can see what this this kid is and as you do this shadow's mouth opens and draws you into the void um you start so everybody on the outside uh jacob starts having like a seizure god damn not like this and sergio's like what the fuck I mean, like, I've, I can't believe that you really would really try that. You know, I told him to dig deeper. I didn't mean it like that. I was hoping to <laughs> find his own answers, you know, his own way. But, I mean, if it's got to be this way, I guess it's got to be this way. God, they're uh, on I'm the guessing this isn't the behavior we've noticed from him before. Oh, uh, no, this is completely abnormal. He's never done this before. Oh, fuck. Jacob, are you okay? Oh, he's sitting down, right? I'm gonna yeah, he's sitting down. He's just like, okay. um, I... Do I have a uh, uh, vocal control or? Uh, if you're gonna say anything, it's gonna be Malkavian talk. Oh yeah, yeah. Oh, it's definitely in. Yeah. So uh, yeah, they just start muttering. Uh, just uh, 
Run, run, run. All you do is run. But you'll never run away from yourself. And I just Boy. repeat that over and over and over. <laughs> Uh, you, you, you know any way to stop this? You seem to know more about this. Ah, he's gonna be fine. Someone take him to the other room. And they just kind of, like, pick you up and, and take you into another room. Mm. Be supervised. And said, so he'll figure it out. Oh, okay. Alright. Yeah, it's not the first time it's happened. It's not gonna be the last time, either. One of 13, you know? What? And it's like, the back to business. Oh, well, you can't leave me on a hang cliffhanger like that. Come on. So where do you know him from? Him? We go way back. It's not important. You see, you guys came at a an opportune time. And I'm for now, I'm going to choose to believe that you're independent, Kindred, acting of your own goodwill, I'll say. Because lucky for you, we got a problem. Well, okay then. What are your issues? What are your problems? You see, a lot of humans have been getting sick around here. Getting well, real normal. sick. Nah, not like this. Problem is, it's a blood-based disease. Mm. I've been keeping tabs. People don't just, you know, people don't shit without me knowing around here. But the fact that a lot of the population has to go to the doctors for some sort of sickness. That's a problem. And so I'm thinking that we have a plague bearer hanging around here. We got somebody who fed on somebody who was sick. And luckily for us, we don't get sick. But that doesn't mean we can't pass it on. So I got an opportunity for you. You find whoever is spreading the sickness, and maybe we can help you find who's been draining. Because I got eyes everywhere, like I said, like a fucking hawk. So, you help me, I help you. You don't, I don't know, I'll shoot you, I guess. I mean, I think we can come to a bit of an arrangement. And that's what I like to hear. What do you say? What do you say, uh, man in the suit? I do appreciate your offer. And I'll accept it. But there's a few more things we need to know before we continue. Alright. I'm in a good mood, you know? I like, uh, I like seeing your buddy there like that. Reminds me of the good times. Shoot, so, what are your questions? So, uh, like, out of character, what is a plague bearer? Is that, like, a type of creature? Or is that just another... So, uh, Plague Bear is a kindred who picked up a disease that they can share with humans. So every time that they feed, they pass the sickness. Mm. Okay, okay. okay. Yeah, because while kindred can't be sick, they can spread diseases. Gives, gives diseases, okay. Uh, does that, giving that disease to humans affect other vampires? So if the human is sick, does that affect the... You know. No, if you feed on a sick human, then you'll get sick. But you won't get sick because you're a kindred. But you, then you become a bear. Yeah, you become like a. Oh, um... so it's just it just become it just spreads more and more. Gotcha. Yeah. Exactly. Okay. You become a carrier, but not like. Gotcha. Disease. All right. And I'm guessing this isn't like, this is frowned upon in overall, like very much so. Oh yeah, it like brings a lot of board. brings a lot of attention because a sudden bloodborne disease, you know, yeah, okay, could be could other. be a risk to the masquerade. Right. Um, because once yeah. people start investigating, people start looking for sources, and if patient zero pops up and it happens to be a kindred, uh, doctors love seeing people who don't have heartbeats alive. So. Uh... Donald, Donald says, so like, where would we even start looking? Are we gonna go check the hospitals? Well, do you have any leads we can start with, or should we just jump in where we can? Well, the first place to go is definitely where 
where it all seems to be centralized, but also a good place where they might have some information, you see. So I got an in. There's a college nearby where they teach a lot of the students cybersecurity. So they have access to a lot of servers and for the purposes of improving the security. Now, I know a security guard there that might be able to let us in. If we've got, if one of you, and I don't know if it's going to be the other guy, but it might be one of you two, is technologically savvy, might be able to access some hospital databases. I may not um, know tech, but I might know somebody. <laughs> well, I know somebody too. They're me. It's you. It's me. <laughs> no surprise. Wow. You decide. <laughs> yeah, you decide. <laughs> Can I get a name? A name for the location? For your uh, guard friend and the location. Oh, you just go there anytime on the night shift. He's there. Jim will let you in. It's Jim. Yeah. I like Jim. Jim's a good name. All right. Jays. And the college is. You know what? His name's James. I like James. That's a good name. His name's James. <laughs> we went so, from Jim to same James. Thing. I'm not changing my notes. <laughs> so, yeah. So it's James. Um, yeah. So the college it's Cambridge College. Can't miss Ooh. it. All right. Got any other questions? Are you guys ready to go? I'll give him a call. Let him know you're coming. That would be delightful. We should probably wait a minute or two until Jacob wakes up from his tremors. Oh. Oh, yeah. Yeah. I mean, so, I guess uh... I could carry him with me, but... <laughs> Just carry him over You know what? Shoulder. That's fine. I'll carry him with me until, <laughs> yeah, <I laughs> until he wakes up. <laughs> You know what? Yeah. We make a story, we keep it anytime somebody asks if they see you. He had a little too much to drink. Nobody asked any questions. Yep. <laughs> he needs a friend to bring him home. All right. I'm just hauling an, uh, an old man over my yeah. shoulder. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, don't worry. You won't have to carry him too far. When you're working with the the Camarilla, you fly a jet. So he has the girl who was holding the gun originally to Gremlin guide you guys out of the bar. Um, and as you guys exit, like a tinted out, you know, candy paint black Cadillac rolls up. It's got sweet ass rims. Uh, and she guides you into the car. Mm, wow. What'd you say? Gore. Score, <laughs> yeah. Oh, if they said gore. Yeah, I thought yeah. I, said, I thought gore too. I was like, oh no. Like, oh, oh no, murder. <laughs> <laughs> I want to murder the driver. <laughs> Can we get through one episode, please? <laughs> <laughs> so, you know, you guys get in, you sit down, uh, you sit down, Jacob, who is no longer like seizing, but is like in a torpor um yeah you get in the car and uh the the girl who guided you out speaks to the driver and is just like you know take him to cambridge college and uh take the long way i think their buddy's gonna yeah. gonna be out for a while and the driver just nods no vocal response and then just rolls up the window and, and drives off um, Jacob as you're just in this like in this void this endless black that like was the child's mouth you like start coming up like it, it was so black and is like starting to become red mm -hmm. and you feel you feel like a viscosity pumping in your veins almost and you 
you look at your arm and like it's it's your skin but the veins are just all black and you you open your eyes and you're in a car with everybody yeah yeah I... wait these people cutting out for anybody else or just me just you okay I think it's just you. oh thank god Yeah, so I just very groggily look around. Where are we? Uh, we're heading to Cambridge. College. Bit of a side quest for our new Camarilla friends. New Camarilla friend? What are we doing? What? What? What's, what's happening? Well, they told us they can help us with our little, um, drained body issue if we help them with their disease-spreading humans. Uh, Alright. Well then, let's make this quick. Sounds good. Alright. As the car drives through the city, you see the city lights just pass by on and on people living their lives normally none the wiser that there's just things happening beyond their knowledge that there are things beyond the natural order of life and sometimes you think to yourself that you wish that you could go back to that but alas here we are yeah I'm gonna um I'm gonna look out the window and just like watch all the people that we pass. Yeah, and that's uh that's where we'll end our session. <laughs>